Hey, Ramel, whether it's been Coach Golish or Coach Pope, they've both been in here having good things to say about you this camp. What's what's different for you this this go round? Is it just the second year in the system? You think? Uh, yeah, it's um second year, more focus, uh, more attention to like details and what we need to do. I'm um, just trying to, I guess, like turn myself to like a leader, try to help other people. So that's more the thing I'm trying to focus on. So. Ramel, what do you think that you've learned from Cedric Tillman and, and Bayless Jones that will help you as a receiver this year? Uh, yeah, like with said, like he always, even in like um, meetings, things like that, he um, called a meeting and he would like give us tips on like what he do to um, get open, things like that. So I'm just learning from him. Uh, you can look at the film, like what Bayless did, everything, and like how they approach everything, like practice game, anything, and just like learning from them, like learning how to I guess like step up, be a leader, things like that. So yeah, everything like that. Ramel, with you guys having Cedric coming back, so what he did last year, I'm sure he wants to keep doing that. How much do you, the rest of your receivers, kind of talk amongst each other about the need to step up so the defenses can't focus on on him? Is that has that been a point of emphasis all off season? Yeah, like that. That's really important. Like us stepping up on the other side of the field because you can't just have one person. Like everybody, like they're gonna lock in on him. So we got to be able to step up, and like take the um, take all the pressure off uh, set. So now we can open up the field. We can do like things all around the field. So defense got to stay true to like everybody. So yeah. Obviously, consistency is a big part of what the coaches talk about with all of you guys. And I know you're striving for that. But what are some of the specific things that you think you have improved on in your game? Uh, I think. I think my releases got a little better. I'm still working on that, like top of the route things, um, fixing up that. Um, like my deep deep balls catching them, um, I got a little better on that, but I got to focus on attacking them more, being more consistent down the field, things like that, um, making explosive plays. So like, uh, um, oh, blocking, that's another thing. I got to um, be consistent with that. So yeah, and like um, playing fast, playing urgent, like getting my feet set, things like that on tempo. So what are, are there a few things that you're, you feel like you've really made progress in that you're better at? Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, all those areas I, I made improvement, but I'm still working on it. Uh, I feel like as a group, we're still working on it. Um, but I think I think since the start of camp to now, I think I improved a little bit on it. So, well, but we still got more camp to go, so I got to stay consistent with it. How has the competition within the wide receiver unit really helped you improve your game as you look to have more of a role within the team this season? Yeah, I think competition is real good. Um, even like not not just for me, for everybody. Like as the season go, somebody might get hurt, somebody got to step up. Like everybody got to be ready for that. So us competing and trying to get that job is it's only gonna make everybody better. So I think that's a good thing. Two questions, the same question on two different guys. How different? Is Hendon Hooker this year as opposed to last year at this time? Uh, I, th I think he stepped up as a as a better leader. Um, he's trying to get everybody to focus on the details and not making the same mistake twice. That's the real um, real thing that he's trying to focus on and just getting a, a connection with everybody. So yeah. How different is Joe Milton now compared to last year? Oh yeah, Joe got Joe got real good. Um, he actually he's actually stepping up as a leader too. Because I know that was, that was one thing that he um, tried to work on. So I think he's being more vocal with things like that, bringing everybody along. Like, we can go with either quarterback if we needed to. So I think that's a good thing. Patrick. With the new guy coming in in Brew this summer, how much have you guys tried to help him kind of catch on, learn the offense, learn how to play fast, do all the things you guys have to do at receiver? Well, yeah, I think as a group we do that uh, well, and he actually learned it real, real fast. He learned it real good, so he, he actually he's actually picking up on things real good. So I think he can help us in the season, really. So obviously the team loves a fast tempo. There's a lot of speed within the wide receiver unit. How do you think your skill set really fits into this system? Oh uh, yeah, like really expanding the field, like pushing, pushing the thing, pushing um, the tempo, pushing verticals, all things like that. That's gonna help open up everything else. So. I think speed is good for that. Anything else, Patrick? Any, any of the cornerbacks standing out to you? Any of those guys really hard to go against? You guys are battling those guys every day, individual stuff, cross-positional theme. Any of those guys standing out to you? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, like you got Kamal, you got Christian Warren, uh, you got like Ruck, like it's a, it's a whole bunch of DBs. Like they all play kind of different, but you got to kind of, like I know um, some DBs, like you got to actually give them a real release and get on your route good. Cause like they're going to break on it. Like they already know, um, they smart too. So they know what we're going to run. So we got to be even more focused on details on how we run the routes, things like that. All right, thanks for that. All right. Okay,